This was called a chopper bait. That's the waltzers there. Oh, he's an African guy. They call him 50 cents or something. That's a jet raid. Where there are fun fairs, there are show people. Jimmy? Yes. That's, That's that. one of the shooting guns off the shooting gallery. And none quite like Jimmy Stringfellow. This is my 12th eviction notice. Saddam Hussein never got 12 eviction notices. Yeah, got them. but they got him in the end though, didn't they? Ah, he was in a tunnel. I think that's what I might do. Around 5,000 show people live in Scotland. I'm a showman. Showman. Very proud of it. You can't beat a travelling point here. Most in Glasgow, many on yards. So we've all got what you would call settled down homes. Some of the caravans that we've got now is luxurious. But what happens when this unique way of life... We don't want to be relocated, we want to stay here. ...meets a city in a hurry to change. They want to put houses here, Jimmy. That's what they want to do. Oh, well, that's nice. Kakodi Promenade in Fife. Yeah, come on, let's go. Push him, push him, push him up. One of the oldest and longest travelling fun fairs in Europe. How long have you been doing this? All my life. Since I could walk and talk. And my father before me, my grandfather before him, and my great grandfather. But when the show's over, they pack up, head home. And for some, that's where the problems start. The council's got to do their job. We all know that. It's how they do it. Jimmy's yard sits in a part of Govan earmarked for major redevelopment. Fifteen families live here across two sites, which have been here for decades. One site is cooperating with the council's planners. Jimmy won't let them through the gate. Boss, he's not an angry dog, are you, son? Have a good smell. One of his daughters is away touring with the fair, but Jimmy's days as fun fair impresario are over. Rides lie idle, poke out from hedges, but not without purpose, says Jimmy. These aren't dead. No, they're just sleeping. They'll wake up one day when we fix them all. Self-appointed no, curator of exhibits for a tradition he says is under here. threat. All this here, all of it, is heritage. I mean, who's going to make them anymore? That's a 1950s rocket. That'll never come back. Through two fences, a glimpse of the city's new Riverside Museum. A silhouette that screams of the future. One of the things we're trying to do is to see if we can get some of the reflected glory from this, this fabulous building here across the water. A future in which the humble skyline of the show people site may be erased. You will have an exemplar housing um, frontage and the idea is that that will be eco houses if you like. There are plans for a bridge linking one of Glasgow's poorest and most affluent communities and for cafes, shops and homes. Can this redevelopment go ahead if the show people were to dig in and refuse to go? I don't think it can. The problem is, and again you can see the problem as you look across, the footprint that's taken up um, by single-storey properties um, is quite substantial. Now, if you can imagine taking one of those units away and putting a three-storey or a four-storey building on top of it, suddenly you get four times, five times as many people there. So, to get the, the increase in population that we're looking to bring to Govan, I think it would be impossible. Govan has long been a home for show people. They star in its annual fair and claim its old church as their own. Glasgow Council says there is still a place for the show people in Govan, but on a new site. The show people heritage is a lot like, it's, it's native to Scotland, it's been here for years and years and hundreds of years. Jimmy's son John was raised here, a showman, a lifestyle he fears is being diluted. It's like shipbuilding in, in Glasgow and Govan, and we've lost all that good hard working people that's no more, do you know what I mean? And it's happening to show people, it's, it's the next thing that's definitely happening. And that day when you moved in, what was that like? That, I, thought, I thought I'd lost a pound and found a million. Really? Thought, uh -huh. The family home is on wheels, 
two caravans joined together more than 30 years ago. I go to bed at night and I can't sleep. I wake up in the morning and I'm crying. My husband's saying, what are you crying for? I said, it's my home. What am I going to do? Theirs is a mobile home in name only. It has been here for so long. It's set now. We've put tiles in it. We've added new kitchens in it. And then that's what I keep telling them. My home, it will not move. We will assist them to relocate their units. Um, so if that means we split a unit, then we split it and we'll put it back together again. Do you worry that this could turn into a bit of a messy fight? Of course it's a concern. That is certainly not our intention. We will continue to work with both families until hopefully we get a resolution. Glasgow Council says show people have successfully relocated elsewhere in the city. And they've consulted widely in Govan and no eviction notices have been served here yet. And I'll show you here. Jimmy and his family say they're not against progress, but they will not leave this site. Well, they're trying to put the willies up us, but we've got all the ghost trains. We frighten people. <laughs> We're professionals. They don't frighten me. 